All right, today we're going to use proportions to solve ratio problems, and this one is going to be easy because it's all review, we hope. All right, so remember, for ratio review, we were given word problems. So here's an example of one of those word problems. The ratio of boys to girls is 5 to 1. How many boys are there if there are 20 girls? So if you remember, we would set up a little ratio box. By the way, how do you like my new pointer? Pretty nifty. So we would set it up in this box. So we would say, okay, we know that we have five girls and one boy. If that's the ratio, we have five to one. So right down here in our box, we have five girls. We put in what we know and one boy. We also know that there are 20 girls, let's say, in the whole class. So we also know that. So what we have to solve for is this question mark here. So we don't know how many boys there are. So what we do is, here's our ratio box and we have to solve. So we set up our fraction and we know that 5 over 1, whoa, look at my pointers going crazy, that 5 over 1 is equal to 20 over something that we don't know. So what do we have to do? Cross multiply. So cross multiply is our friend. So here we have our fraction, 5 over 1 is equal to 20 over question mark. So we multiply 5 by question mark and 20 by 1. And here's where we solve. So remember when you have a number right by a variable, it means times. So 5 times question mark equals 20 times 1. So we have to divide both sides by 5. And we're left with question mark equals 4. So we know that there are four boys if there are 20 girls. So I would like that class very much. So let's try another one. See, this is something that you've already done. Here we go. There are three blue Skittles to four red Skittles. If there are 36 red Skittles in the bag, how many blue Skittles are there? So step one is we set up our ratio box, and then, of course, we cross multiply. Wait, what was that? Cross multiply. Okay, so you're not going to forget to cross multiply ever, ever again. So here we go. Set up our ratio box, and then we set up our fraction right here. 3 over 4 equals y over 36, and then right over here is how we show our work. We're going to multiply 3 times 36 and 4 times y right here. We get 100 over 8 equals 4y, and we have to get the variable by itself, so we divide both sides by 4, and y equals 27. So let's just review all the steps that you need to do when you're solving these problems. So step one is draw the ratio box. Step two would be write out the fraction. Step three is cross multiply. And then step four is solve the variable. So again, this is all review. Hopefully this won't take you very long. And enjoy your math day.